Folks, we're back again. T-Biz here. We got another G.I. Joe Classified series to check out. This one came out pretty pretty soon, man. I didn't think it was going to be out so soon. It's uh, Mutt and Junkyard. G.I. Joe, man. And uh, because I think it was, we're supposed to get that one. It's not Scrap Art. What was his name? Metalhead or whatever. The guy is like an Iron Grenadier guy. Um, yeah, I thought we we're supposed to get that guy pretty soon too if we forget him maybe he's all he's coming down the pipeline i don't know but anyways uh yeah i didn't i didn't know he's gonna be out so soon uh yeah this figure's gonna be rad because uh i had this guy back in the day i don't have him now but i had him back in the day and uh we got to go ahead and read his file card real quick and uh yeah get that jojo.com or whatever let's see dog handler canine uh, code name mutt uh file name uh, pearl mutter stanley r uh oop, jesus all right, let's see. Uh, primary military specialty dog handler, secondary military specialty infantry, birthplace, uh, Aslan, New, New Jersey. Mud is a natural with animals. He likes them and they like him. Uh, the problem is that he gets along better with dogs than he does with humans. Graduated jungle warfare training school, um, attached as a cadre to special ops school and as advisor to security and enforcement committee. A committee qualified uh, expert M16, M14, M1911A1, auto pistol, and Mac 11. Let's see. If you're sitting next to Mutt in the mess hall, don't uh, don't try to don't try to filch anything from his tray, or he'll bite your leg off. That's hilarious, man. And like the vintage figure, he comes with the muzzle. Yo, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, we got the. Um, yeah, the submachine gun pistol or whatever, the muzzle. It also comes with the cool. nightstick, which is awesome. Packaging rad. a bit. Uh, yeah, man, got a cool picture of him. He looks like uh, like a gnarly, hyped-up Super Mario, dude, which is hilarious. But, yeah, he got his Rottweiler. Is that a Rottweiler, I'm thinking? It's not a boxer. It's a Rottweiler, right? Or no, it's not a Rot. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Dog experts, chime in. Let me know. Because it's not a pit bull. But, um, yeah, dude, that's rad, man. This is a good dog, man. Good doggy. Uh, yeah, he looks badass, dude. He's a badass figure, man. That is cool, man. So he is a part of, the, I guess, the law enforcement, man. Enforcement, security, and stuff like that. So, yeah. Awesome. I'm not gonna lie. For this figure, I I really wish they'd go back to the way they were doing stuff. Because I'm not a big men on box guy or box collector. And, uh, yeah, that was a pain in the ass cutting all these out and digging all these accessories out. I wish they just give me the box with the little Jack and the, the uh, Cracker Jack thing to open up. <laughs> uh, anyways, here's his machine gun. That is fucking badass. He's got a nightstick to beat the hell out of you with. For Law and Order, he's got his muzzle, which is cool because this is like totally like old school retro accessory. So that's badass. It's his COVID mask. I shouldn't say that. People freak out. Anyways, he's got goggles for. Uh, to have on anyways and then he's got goggles to go over his helmet um he's got a his helmet which actually has some nice paint to it man it looks cool it's a little dirty man so that's rad um he's got a pistol and i thought i guess he doesn't he comes with the machine gun but he doesn't come with the one that one gun i thought he would come with out of the vintage one the little little uh, machine gun pistol with the silencer on it or suppressor or whatever so we don't get that one but we get this one because that's what i guess i thought this was but yeah it's a it's a nightstick and uh, he's got a dagger yeah and once again his pistol um he's got a bunch of different hands he's got a punchy hand he's got, he's got a holdy hand or so i guess i don't know wait where's he doesn't have a leash so i guess in this day and age it's like some people in the neighborhood don't have their dogs on leashes, which you should all the time. But uh, but anyways, but not in this one. This is my security dog. <laughs> it's a... Anyways, it's got a trigger hand. Looks like... That's weird. I guess that could hold the knife or what? I don't know, man. Because that's like kind of... That's weird. He's got the... I don't know. Is he supposed to be giving the doggy a treat? I can't tell. These are weird hands. He's got a pointy hand. And then he's got a, a, a pet his doggy, a pet in hand, or whatever. So, yeah. Unless those are supposed to hold the weapons, but damn, dude, they're kind of... Yeah, they can. They can. That's... Because that is a trigger hand, but damn, that's hardly, like... I don't know, man. You can, it doesn't seem like you really fit anything in there. Maybe the knife. I don't know. That's weird. That is weird. That's a weird set of hands, to be honest with you. Um, Here's his doogie. Yeah, he looks badass, dude. That is cool, because you can hold him by, right here, but, man, once he lets him go, man, that's it. <laughs> All bets are off. 
These are articulated. That is freaking rad. So that swivels. Got a hinge right there. The foot's got a hinge. That is rad, dude. That is cool, man. That is freaking rad. A lot of articulation with this dog. A lot of swiveling. A lot of hinges. Hinges on the feet and all that stuff. Hey, he's rad, dude. That is freaking cool. Good doggy. Bite the hell out of some cobras. <laughs> and here he is just chilling. After he just ate, he's going to wait for to eat some food or drink some water, man. <laughs> he's just chilling. And here he is. He's ready to rip some cobra ass. That's hilarious. Here's Mutt himself. Uh, he's got, man, maybe Junkyard bit him a couple times. I don't know in the face. <laughs> oh, that's rad. He's got the, the tampo of his arm hair. So he's super hairy. But yeah, he's rad, man. That's cool, man. He looks like a pissed off Super Mario. That's hilarious, dude. Next thing we're going to do, I'm not going to go into articulation because we already know what these figures do. Because I don't want, that's just ridiculous to me to go into articulation all the time. We're just going to get him set up and geared up, man. And here we have him holding Junkyard, ready to beat your ass and ready to take a bite out of your ass, dude. This is, this is an awesome figure, dude. I, I, I like this figure as a kid and stuff, but I never thought, like, in the classified series that i'd be like oh this is freaking awesome dude because he, it's pretty cool man it's pretty freaking cool i like him a lot dude yeah he's ready to do some law and order on your ass and beat the shit out of you with the nightstick dude and he can bust a cap in your ass and he can also he can stab you and uh he can pepper spray the shit out of you too with that right there back there so yeah there's some pepper spray so there you go man <laughs> don't tase me bro but yeah that's rad dude that is freaking awesome dude some justice, some law and order, dude. <laughs> uh, if you know me and you're friends with me, I, I support the cops, man. I'm not an anti-cop guy. Never will be. Never have been. But uh, anyways, yeah, that's badass, dude. <laughs> Even military police or whatever. But uh, yeah, that's rad, dude. He's awesome. This guy's badass. Oh, my God. He's with his gun. His machine gun, dude. Yeah, that's a badass figure, man. I like him a lot. He's really cool. He's fun, fun figure, dude. Really cool, man. You could have him totally beating the hell out of some Cobra dudes or, like, um, some Dreadnoughts or whatever. And, uh, yeah. The dog's awesome, too. The dog just has really great detail. And is really freaking cool. Yeah, just a really rad doggy. That's badass. That's cool. And it's cool that he comes with another head portrait, too. So, that's, that's, that's freaking awesome, too. But, anyways, yeah, that's our quick look at, uh... G.I. Joe, Classified Series, Mutt and Junkyard, old school stuff, man, but still badass, dude. I love that, I love the flat matte look of his helmet, dude. That is really cool. That's a nice touch, man. Yeah, he's badass, man. <laughs> he's awesome. Anyways, uh, let me know what you think about this figure, if you like this figure when you are a kid or not, and if you didn't like it then, if you like it now, because it's like, really cool. Anyways, uh, once again, thanks for watching. I'll have a good one. All right, later.